telling you, Logan, man. Superior wheels, superior handling. It's not the machine, Rips. It's the man. You just got lucky. Tom Cruise, Top Gun, F-16. Superior machine, kick the crap out of those MiGs. Han Solo, Millennium Falcon, superior man. Yeah, right. Think about it. He blew away all those TIE fighters and made the jump to light speed and had to talk to that thieving Wookiee. Greedo would have wasted Tom Cruise and Goose before they got out of the cantina. Yeah, well, tell that to Allison when you pick her up on that rust bucket and watch her make the jump to me. <laughs> Not a chance. I'll get the car. Yeah, what are you going to do? Walk up to your dad and ask him for the keys? That's the difference between you and me. Where you see a roadblock, I see opportunity. <laughs> Dude, where'd you get that? I cut it myself in shop class. Oh, man, your dad's totally gonna freak. No, he's not. That's the beauty of foster parents. They blame everybody else for your mistakes. Come on, man, let's, let's take a shortcut to the highway. I don't know, dude. Isn't there a minefield in there or something? That's just a rumor they started to keep guys like us out. Hey, aren't you the one with the superior wheels? responsible for policing the temporal stream. Checked out, Mickey Mouse checked in. Planet of the Apes, 1968. Apollo orbited the moon. Hey, how are you? Uh, Tricky to collected. Bobby Kennedy was killed and Jackie went on asses. 39 steps. Which version? 1935, 59, or 78? You are incredible, isn't it? Cultural anthropology, Logan. We mark time by our memories. I use movies as my 20th century tickle file. We had an old revival house by my neighborhood. New double bill every Friday night. Most guys are on a date on Friday night. Did I say I went alone? I just assumed that somebody as off be good looking as myself didn't have a chance for the young ladies. Hmm. Remember, Logan, the secret to romance is location, location, location. Dark theater, the right film. What have you got? Magic. I'm sure you found the backseat of the old family view quite comfortable, Casanova. It was a Ford, and it was actually pretty cramped. Hey, Mac. What's up with Mac? 
Senate closed door hearings on the TEC budget. Got pretty rough. Why, our case closure rate's up, the dome's been clear. It's about the rogue sled issue. Well, we're never going to win on that one. As soon as we manage to shut one down, another one goes out. Yeah, they're going to have to understand that the time travel genie is out of the bottle. Once it's out, they can't just stick it back in again. Well, the Senate thinks if we spent more time in the present tracking down rogue sleds, fewer criminals would get back, we'd cut our budget by a third. We bust our butts trying to be the Tiffany's of time travel while our bosses are hell-bent on turning this into a five and dime. Captain Matuzic, report to the dome. We have a developing rift. Time to pass the hat. I bet Alright, what do we got? Level two and holding. Any chance it's just a temporal correction? Negative. Alright, let's lock it down. Pine Creek, Arizona, May 19th, 1989. Run that by me again. They ring a bell, Logan? Yeah, big bell. It's the night I spend in jail. You stole your dad's car to impress a girl? Gee, Logan, I know cliches with more originality. It was the prom. And this wasn't just any girl, this was Allison Kendall. Allie, for short. Man, was she beautiful. That makes sense. So, how did you end up in jail? My dad caught me backing out of Allie's driveway. Night in jail sounds a little heavy for a prank like that. My dad and I had a very interesting relationship. I'd do whatever I could to tick him off, and he'd try and find new ways to punish me. I think we'd just come to the end of our rope. Was Allie waiting for you the next morning? She hooked up with my best friend, Maddie Rips, at the prom. By the time I got out of jail, they were going steady. I guess she didn't appreciate your wild side. Yeah, nothing turned on this date but tumbleweed. Pine Creek's not exactly the center of the universe. Yeah. Well, we got a ripple, which means somebody's back there that doesn't belong there. Well, let me check it out. <laughs> Too dangerous. Regulation 657, TEC officers cannot knowingly be placed in situations where they may come in contact with the younger version themselves. What she said? That doesn't apply here. My 17-year-old self is spending a night in jail, remember? Look, it's a small town. If there's somebody back there who doesn't belong there, they're going to be spotted in a New York minute. All right. You talk me into it. <sighs> Boss. Looks like prom night is turning into homecoming. Hey, Logan. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't even get asked to go to my prom. Okay. Nope. I was deemed TSNA. Too smart, no action. <laughs> What are those guys doing today? Well, actually, my mother ran into one last week. He runs the local fill-in station. You know, missing the prom is the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, yeah? One night in jail scared you straight, huh? Well, that was part of it. Up until then, my parents had been my foster parents. I managed to burn through two foster families. I figured after this stunt, they'd dummy too. What happened? Clear the pod bay, please. The morning I got out of jail. My father told me no son of his was going to be a juvenile delinquent. So I reminded him I wasn't his son. So he adopted me. Be careful, Logan. Sometimes we tend to remember only the magical moments from our own past. Pine Creek could be pretty dangerous for you. I keep my eyes open. What's going on? Do I know you, son? <laughs> you used to chase me out of your store when I was a little boy. You and every other brat in this town. According to my scanner, there was a robbery down the hardware store. Which hardware store? Bill Logan's. 
I don't know what the world's coming to. Must be from Phoenix. Is he all right? He's got a minor concussion, but he'll be fine. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Uh, I'm a relative of Bill's, so a distant relative. Well, it looks like he was just locking up. Somebody beamed him on the back of his head and lights out. No, it didn't happen this way. You know something about this? Yeah, he was supposed to get home 10 minutes ago. And catch me stealing his car. You're not making any sense, mister. Maybe you ought to come down to the station with me. I should already be there. Hey! Hey, hey, Rips! You talking to me? I'm looking for Jack Logan. Is he in trouble? Not if you tell me where he is. Put you with the John Luke Picard outfit. Are you some sort of spook? Yeah, that's exactly what I am. And if you don't start giving me some answers, I'm gonna beam you to the moon. I, he, he just stole his old man's wheels and, and went to pick up his date. Allison Kendall, uh, 458 Fillmore Street, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you wrinkled my tux. Sam Usher. Oh. It's nice to see that you don't forget your old TEC training buddies. I make it a point not to forget the ones I catch stealing time sled designs. I thought you were in prison. I got paroled for my good behavior. But I used my time inside well. I thought a lot about how different my life would be without you in it. I'd have built that rogue sled out of the streets of DC. I'd be making millions. You came back to take me out. If I'm dead at 17, I can never catch you. I remember you telling me all about your troubled youth. Who'd ever believe that your past would turn out to be your Achilles heel? What have you done? <laughs> Nothing that will raise any eyebrows. You won't be the first teenager to die on prom night. Shut up, dirtbag. Captain, you feeling okay? Now that we finally got you, I feel just great. Good work, Sam. Nothing to it. What's going on here? Don't you know who I am? Yeah. You're Jack Logan. The most wanted time criminal in TEC history. And you're under arrest. Matt, you got it all wrong. Usher's the criminal here. He's changed history, my history. You sent me back on a mission. How else did I get this uniform and temporal control? You jumped me, that's how. I let my guard down for two seconds. You know, Ed impersonating a TEC officer to his charge. Oh, this is insane. Easter, you can vouch for me. Oh, sure I can. I've got whole files on your exploits through time, which I will take great pleasure in passing on to the TEC penal division. Don't you see by altering my past, Usher's changed the future? Oh, please. You tried to alter so many time periods, I thought of buying history a moo-moo and crying uncle. Get him out of here. Hemmings, 
you understand what's happening here, please explain it to them. There's nothing to explain. You're a murderer. You're never gonna get away with this, Usher. Then I guess this is my lucky day. Because it looks like I already have. You know, this is exactly the kind of thing we were warned about at the Academy. Change one little piece of a person's life. And you risk changing the whole life. What a mind bender, huh? I'm gonna bend your mind in about two seconds. See? You're already exhibiting the traits of a career criminal. I read your file. You've had more lives than a temporal cat. What the hell did you do to me? I wanted to kill you. That was the plan. I cut the brake lines. I planted the explosive in the car. It was a liquid explosive. It was supposed to disintegrate without a trace in two hours. But no. Only a punk like you, or more specifically the 17-year-old you, could plow the car into a tree before the Big Bang. There's no way I could do something like that. Oh, there's a way, all right. There's a whole life out there you have no idea you lived. You became a product of the criminal justice system, Jack. It's all here. It's really pretty sad. It's not my life. It is now. In this alternate world, you never became a time cop. And I was never thrown off the force. What do you hear the case we got against you? We locked and loaded. We got Logan's tribunal hearing in half an hour. We would be, but Usher wanted a complete download of all of his case files and Logan's criminal history. Did he say why? I'm chalking it up to temporal Alzheimer's. Sometimes he forgets that he's a cop. <laughs> the man gets the job done. Yeah, well, a lot of people get the job done. Usually they go under more common names, you know, like, say, dictator. Don't you think you're being a little dramatic? If I see a marble bust, I'm walking. All right, look, Usher may be a little assertive. But let's remember, Logan's the real bad guy here. His arrest is going to buy us a lot of goodwill with the subcommittee. Just by catching him, we've closed 25% of our cases. Hey, look. I'm just as glad to see Jumping Jack Flash put out a commission as you are. And I'm, you know, I'm impressed with the job that Usher did on this. I bet it hurt to say that. I'm that transparent. I just ran the temporal controller that Logan stole from Usher through the scanner. It's not Usher's. Then whose is it? I don't know. It's definitely TEC issue, but the chip registration doesn't check out. Hmm. There must have been temporal flux. Scramble the code and issue him another one. That's the fifth controller Usher's been issued this year. Is there something you're trying to say here, Hemmings? Just that the average is 1.5 per active officer per year. What is it with you two? Usher brings in our biggest temporal criminal, and you act like he's done something wrong. No one wants Logan brought down more than me. We all have colleagues whose death he caused. I am just pointing out an abnormality in our equipment. You sure this isn't personal, Hemmings? Positive. Okay. Then log it in your report and I'll address it later. Right now I got a real criminal to deal with. Ready for your close up, Mr. DeMille? Good luck. Thanks. It bothers you that the controller doesn't check out. What can I say? I'm a stickler for detail. Well, if you call it temporal flux, you can close out your tech file. Otherwise, I'd be entertaining Logan's theory that this belonged to him in an alternate reality. Jack Logan, a time cop. What a sad, pathetic world that would be to live in. Don't say that again. Jack Logan, you have been charged with 15 counts of temporal one, unlawful temporal insertion with criminal intent. How do you plead? Not guilty. So noted. Where is your court appointed counsel? I waive the right to counsel, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Be warned, Mr. Logan, I do not look kindly on the practice of self-representation. I shall give you one more opportunity. Does the defendant wish to request TEC counsel? I respectfully decline. 
I'm innocent. So noted. Have it your way. These proceedings will now come to order. First count, November 19th, 1856, St. Petersburg, Russia. Theft of three Fabergé eggs from the Tsar's personal collection. Two royal guards killed in the escape. Second count, June 14th, 1922. Armed robbery of the Orient Express and its approach to Istanbul. TEC officer killed in attempt at apprehension. My history has been changed. I am not responsible for these crimes. Oh, well, who's that? Your evil twin? What if someone went back and altered your past? You wouldn't be a judge today. You wouldn't have the life you're leading right now. Do you wish to change your plea to insanity, Mr. Logan? That man, Sam Usher, is responsible for my personal history. He went back to May 19th, 1989 and changed the course of my life. How do you respond to these allegations, Officer Usher? The defendant is a desperate man, Your Honor. You pull file on that date and let history speak for itself. After stealing his foster father's car, the defendant crashed it into a tree. Allison Kendall, the female passenger, was killed when the gas tank exploded. You sabotaged that car, Usher. You cut the brake lines and planted the explosive. That's the only reason it crashed. Enough, Mr. Logan. It seems pretty cut and dry to me. Allison Kendall was not supposed to die. I launched from the TEC to investigate a time ripple emanating from my hometown. It all started there. Mr. Logan, it's obvious to this court that the only way you could have committed these crimes is if you had the use of a rogue time sled. If you're willing to give up its location, I might be able to show mercy in your sentencing. Your Honor, I don't know anything about a rogue sled. You're looking at a death sentence, Mr. Logan. If I were you, I'd start cooperating. I can't tell you what I don't know. You leave me no choice. Jack Logan, you are hereby sentenced to death. You will be remanded to temporal prison until which time your sentence can be carried out. You look so smug, Usher. You didn't kill me in 1989. You're sure as hell not going to do it now. The irony is, I'm the only person who can actually help you out. If you take this alternate reality to its logical conclusion, you would never around to stop me from stealing those designs. Which means you've got your own fully operational rogue time slot. That's why the judge was willing to make me an offer. I'm going to be the first man in history to make money on both sides of the temporal stream. He'll never get away with it. Oh, what are you going to get at Jack? The world's turned against you. You're right, Usher. Why am I fighting it? From what I can tell, I make a pretty good criminal. Maybe it's time I started living up to my reputation. I've changed my mind. I'm willing to give up the location of the rogue time sled. You don't know where it is. I'll give it up on one condition. Let's hear it. I only talked to Claire Hemmings. This guy's Jesse James of time travel. Get him to tell you where the sled is, then get out. I don't like this, Mac. We should be in there with her. Last time I checked, we were both time cops, Sam. Deal is me and me alone. I can handle this. Just don't let him get into your head. He's a real charmer. I'll try not to swim. Okay, I'm here, I'm alone. Now, where's that sled? I'm not talking until you take the cuffs off. I'm not authorized to do that. Yes, you are. This is your interrogation. I thought you knew the Temple Code book by heart. Receiver. I don't think she should be alone with him. Oh, you jets, Usher. I mean, she can take care of herself. How'd you know that microphone was there? I'm a time cop. I know everything about this facility. Sam Usher is a time criminal. He went back on a rogue sled and altered my personal history. You have an active imagination. I'll say that for you. 
Your full name is Claire Elizabeth Hemmings, born 1979 in Abilene, Texas. Graduated magna cum laude from MIT, joined TEC Science and Research Division. You were offered a full-time job after a two-week stint at tech headquarters. So you hacked into the TEC mainframe. I'm not impressed. You hate jazz. San Francisco and baby boomers. You like burritos, extra guacamole, no beans. You go to the movies, you never rent. Oh, actually, I just rented The Sound of Music last Christmas. It's only because your niece had never seen it. Have you been stalking me? In another life. Uh, in my real life, we're colleagues. In this life, you are a criminal and a murderer, Logan. I'm not gonna let you play your little mind games. More than anybody else, you understand the concept of alternate realities. I also understand the concept of psychopathological behavior. TSNA. Too smart, no action. You told me all about it just before I launched. Just before Sam Usher changed everything. You're lying. You didn't go to your senior prom because you weren't asked. Usher's the one who's lying and telling you the truth. <gasps> Look at your record, Logan. How am I supposed to believe you? Snap her neck in two. Give a shot. Let me take it. Tech standard issue fires 42 caliber rounds. There's no way you can shoot me without hitting Claire. Or your weapon, Usher. I don't have to play fair anymore, Usher, but you do. Usher, that was a direct order. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. Sure I am. We're going out the emergency service exit. I'll never give you the code. You don't have to. It's Mother's birthday. What do you think you're doing? There must be ten cars out here combing the streets for us. TC always turns over most manhunts to the federal marshals. I'm not allowed to give them crime specifics. We're always a low priority. Where do you get your information? Is there some TEC bookstore I don't know about? I told you we're colleagues. Oh, friends. If we're such good friends, then let me go. No, oh. I can't. I need you. You need a hostage. I gotta find a place to rest. You need more than that. You need medical attention. Hey. I just need to stop for a minute. I just need to. I gave you a direct order. I had the shot. I could have taken Logan out. You could have blown a hole right through Hemmings. I warned you that that interrogation was nothing but a bluff. But we took the bait hook, line, and sinker. You warned me? You warned me? That was the judge's call. Your job is to follow orders. We got something here called a chain of command. And you better damn well start following it. What in the hell's gotten into you today? I'm sorry, Mac. It's just that I've been after Logan for so long. To get this close, I flew off the handle. For a minute there, I wasn't sure whose side you were on. Careful, it's a pretty nasty wound. I'm surprised I'm not waking up in the TEC infirmary. How do you know I haven't already placed the call? Because they'd be here by now. Maybe I'm one of those people who sympathizes with my kidnappers. <clears throat> no, you're too smart for that. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I said. Truth is, you knew my mother's birthday was the exit code, and um, 
Well, too smart, no action. I haven't told anyone about that since high school. Do you realize you trusted me once, somewhere? There was something about Usher, too. When he shot you, there was something just wasn't right about him. He would have killed me to protect his secret. And what exactly is his secret? That he's got a rogue sled somewhere under the streets of D.C. Come on, Claire, think about it. If I was the one with the rogue sled, I would have dumped you as soon as we left tech headquarters. No. There's no way Usher could hide something like that. Not from me. Why not? Um, Sam and I dated for six months. You and Usher? It's not that much of a stretch. He's a fairly handsome guy. What happened? He broke it off. Just like that. He never really gave me an explanation. Did you love him? No. But I thought I knew him. He was using you, Claire. You don't even know me. Why am I telling you any of this? I'm calling the TC uh, right now. You trust me, don't you? I don't. Yes, you do. Let go of me. Listen, I would never do anything to betray you. You gotta believe me. Please, Claire. Please tell me you trust me. Please. It's the procedure, even the security code. Huh. Where the hell did he get his information? Either he's a card-carrying member of the Psychic Friends Network, or we have a serious security breach. This day just keeps getting better and better. When you were calling off Usher, Logan said to him, you have to play fair now. What do you think he meant? He was just taunting him. Look, Usher's a good cop. He's a good cop. He's just a little too close right now. He's always been unorthodox. Unorthodox is wearing white after Labor Day or mixing chicken with fish. Usher's dangerous. He pulled the trigger. Look, if it makes you sleep any better at night, Usher's put in for a transfer. He's going to be heading up the rug sled task force. All right, send me the bill. I'll spring for his going away party. I've got to find Usher's rogue sled. Look, I think we should just go back to TEC headquarters, Jack. Let me talk to Matusik. Max too good a cop. No matter what you tell him, he's not going to believe my story. He has to have tangible evidence. I have tangible evidence. It's not enough to convince Matusik. I have to get to 1989 and change my life back to the way it's supposed to be. The only way I can do that is if I find Usher's rogue sled. He lives in a loft down in the southeast. It's a pretty bad neighborhood for a cop. Yeah, he said the property was a steal. He couldn't pass it up. He bought it in an MTA fire sale. MTA is in Metro Transit? Yeah, his building's right over an abandoned metro station. It must be where he keeps his sled. Federal Marshals, I just got a call from a motel clerk. Two guests just checked out. One matched Logan's description, the other matched Hemmings. At least we know she's alive. Yeah. DC Caddy said he dropped them off in Southeast. Usher. Southeast, isn't that your neighborhood? Yeah. I'll check it out. This looks a little out of place. You know the combination? It's got a microprocessor inside it. I know how to override the system. Just like the TEC. That's what happened when you steal the same design. I'll program the coordinates. 
May 19th, 1989. What? If you manage to put things right when you get back, I won't have any memory of this. Of us. No. But I will. I'm not sure I like the idea of you having something over me. Maybe we'll have something over each other. Thanks for believing in me. Go. Get it. Two guys just rolled right in front of my car. Comic books have rocked your world one too many times. No, I swear, they were, they were right here. I knew I should have gone with Blaine. That's him, that's one of the guys, right there. <laughs> Believe me, if he rolled under your car, I wouldn't have noticed. Where are the keys? Well, I is coming. Bye. Bye. was talking, I didn't even think he'd show up. Well, I guess now you know who the superior man is. Seriously? What did you do? Steal it? No. I had a man-to-man -man with old Bill. He decided to see things my way. He even gave me the key. And your dad didn't think I was responsible enough. No, my dad just thinks you have that whole trouble you think down cold. Then why did he let you go out with me? Because he hates me anymore. Dead. That's cool. I was just trying to show you some gratitude. Are you okay? I never want to see you again, Jack Logan. Looks like we're back on track. You don't mean to break up a family reunion. Is this the Twilight Zone? Who are you guys? Old friends. You know, I gotta hand it to you, Jack. You're the only guy I know who can escape a death sentence in two different time zones. Hmm. I'm gonna be wanting that uniform back. I don't think so. Say goodbye to yourself, Jack. Remember what your dad gave you for last Christmas? Yeah! Dude, 
Dude, how'd you know about the karate lessons? Believe it or not, Jack, I know you better than I know myself. Awesome. By the way, in senior chemistry, when Jenny Pollock asks you to be her lab partner, say yes. Look who I found, Mac. Former cop. He's got it all wrong. Shut up there, Peg. You sent me back on a mission. How else will I have this uniform and the controller? You jumped me, that's how. And impersonating a TEC officer to his charge sheet. This is insane. Easter, you can vouch for me. Who's a chucklehead? There's a guy who went down the wrong path. Mm. One of the great philosophical dilemmas of our time. Where's Hemmings? Thank God. Hey, how was your homecoming, Logan? Um, very insightful. Come on, I want some details. Did you make it to the dance? No. But I made sure there'd be other dances to go to. Now, it's interesting. If I hadn't spent that night in jail, I may very well be leading a life of crime today. Well, that would be too bad, because then you and I would have never met. How do you know? Maybe I'd end up taking you hostage. We'd spend the night together in some cheap motel. Logan, please. The chance of you and I getting together in any lifetime are a million to one. Hemmings, you know those guys in high school? The ones who said you were too smart, no action? Yeah. They didn't know what they were talking about.